Chilling messages on the walls, a body in the living room, and an 18-year-old arrested for murder. Now, Ishmael Ali says he is guilty of killing his father. He agreed to a plea deal and is headed to prison. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez explains why Ali decided to pass on a jury trial. For four long years. Please give me your full name and your date of birth for the record. Ish Ishmael after a shit, uh, Ali. Ishmael Ali has been plotting his defense. And what's your date of birth, Mr. Ali? June 22nd, 1999. Doctors say he faked a mental illness. It was my, my professional impression that the defendant was uh, just trying to present, you know, fabricate some sort of mental condition. But when that didn't work, he planned to go with the insanity defense, but changed his mind at the last minute. Ali is now taking a plea deal. And how do you plead to that charge this afternoon, sir? Um, I, I plead, I plead guilty. He pled guilty to a reduced charge of second degree murder in exchange for 30 years in prison. Prosecutors describe how he turned on his own father. During a heated argument with his father, the victim, Abdir Rashid Ali, stabbed his father one time with a knife, puncturing his father's heart and lungs. Prosecutors say there were chilling messages on the walls and doors that read, die, and I will kill him. Ishmael Ali's father's lifeless body was found on the living room floor, wrapped in a rug with a knife still stuck to his chest. Now Ali is going away for decades. The 22-year-old will have his first taste of freedom when he's 52 years old. Take care. Good luck to you, Mr. Ali. Thanks. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Well, as part of his plea agreement, Ali will serve 10 years of probation. That's, of course, once he's out of prison. The Tampa Bay